Good morning, everyone. This is Ida with Created to Create. If you are under the age of 18 years old, this video content is not for you. Um, I have a project share, guys, that I wanted to share with you. As you all know, I have been creating cards lately, and I'm not really too much of a card maker, uh, but lately I have been doing it, and I've really been enjoying making cards. Um, I want to share a card that I created uh, by buying a pre-made package of cards that we put together. Uh, I do have a Tuesday morning haul coming up that um, I'll do in, in a little while. Sometime today I'll upload that one. But I bought a package of cards, which are these right here. And I thought these made were, uh, you know, a great spring card. So I'm just going to pull the backing out so you can see, well, it's all going to come out. So you can see it does come with some sentiments and it's got like two of each. It comes with a, you know, a little bling package, some little pom-poms, some uh, double foam tape. And it comes with 12 cards and 12 envelopes. It has 18 die cut shapes and the gems and then the pom-poms but these are this is what the cards look like and um there's the back to them and they do have the the uh, logo of the maker on the back so you would definitely have to cover that up and let me share the envelopes with you look at how pretty ah it's getting stuck look at how pretty the envelopes are so I think they're really, really pretty. And then, uh, let me see. There's two different styles in cards. There's this one, and then there's this one right here. Very, very pretty cards. I really love them. The one I used, I believe, is this one. So I want to share it with you, what I created. Let me put these back in here. And um, I actually picked up a couple of them because... I've been uh, listing my cards on Etsy, and uh, you know when you, if you're a card maker, and you, or you're going to start making cards, you actually want to have. Uh, when you do a listing, you don't just want to list one card. You want to be able to list, you know, several of them, at least six, if not more. Uh, that way, you get your money's worth because you pay for those listings. So. This is the card that I created. Look at how beautiful it looks. And I'm going to take it out of the box. I, I'm, I'm loving these boxes that I picked up for my cards. I really love the way um, the presentation. It, it's so pretty. And, and these boxes, I don't know if I mentioned before. I did share them before. They're uh, 5 eighths of an inch thick. So you do have a, you know, a, a little bit of space for dimensional cards and I like to make my cards dimensional so um, here is the card that I did and all I did to it, it here's one of the uh, sentiments that was on there I used the card that had uh, the different one with the vines down here and it does have some blue in it so because it had the blue I kind of wanted to bring out the blue some more and blue is my favorite color a dusty blue is actually my favorite color so I this card could be used. It doesn't have a sentiment on the inside. This card could be used for um for a Mother's Day, for a birthday. It could be anything, but I haven't put a sentiment in it yet. But this says you are special. Definitely would be for a sister, an aunt, a grandma, a mother, and for any occasion. And I had these flowers that I had created a while back. If you guys, I don't know if you guys recall, but I did create these and I shared them a while back. And, um, and I had them sitting on my desk and I thought I'm going to use them because I already have them pre-done. And these are Heartfelt Creation uh, a stamp and die set that I used here. And this one is also the, the smallest one. And then I added a bling center. I didn't curl it or anything, but I do have the tray that um, the the sh that shapes them. You run you you put them in the tray. You mist them with water, and you run it through your big shot, and it'll shape 
the petals. So that's what I did to all of them. These I gave them a little bit more shape and cupped them in, you know, to form that rose. But these I just left them open and put the little bling in the center. So I cut this uh, die cut back here and I'll share with you which one that is. I have a pile of stuff sitting on my desk, guys, because I have so much I want to share with you. Uh, my hauls and just different things I've been working with. Um, let me move this out of the way. But this is the die that I use. And this was a gift from my friend Carolyn. So I used this frame die right here. Uh, it came from AliExpress. And, um, and what I did was I ran it through the machine with... Um, with some gold foil cardstock and then I ran it again with the foam board that I buy from the Dollar Tree and it cuts it. It does kind of, uh, it smashes it, makes it thinner, it condenses it, but it still gives you a little bit of dimension and it cuts beautifully through that. So that's what I did. I cut one out of the foam bo core board and one out of the gold foil and um, to give it a little bit, see the little bit of dimension, not much but it's a little bit. And then the center that it cuts out, an oval center, that one I glued it to the back of the sentiment to give it a little bit more lift. So there's a dimension in between both layers, but it's very thin. And then here in the corners, I, um, I bought a new embossing powder that I want to share with you. Uh, let me grab that really, really quick. It is, um, I've been playing with the the frontage so this one is the age green embossing enamel by stampendous and i'm going to open it so you can see the inside let me open that for you it's very very pretty look at the inside it's got the gold like the bronze and the green in it see the green there it's really pretty so um i had a um i had a dye and I don't know where it's at at the, at the moment. But it is a vine. I really don't know what I did with it, guys. I'm sorry. I, like I said, I have a lot of stuff. Oh, here it is. I have a lot of stuff on my desk. And sometimes I'll cut a, a die cut and not decide not to use it. So I have a little pile over there to the side. This is the die. And I picked this up from AliExpress this past year and I hadn't used it I just used it for the first time but I have to tell you what would work ideal ideally for this would be uh something that has the stamp and then the the die to cut it because you want to be able to get all the veining and be able to define all that with you could use your glue pad and um stamp it out and then use the frontage and then of course use your die to cut it out that will look beautifully uh, because I don't have a stamp it kind of I had to dab the whole thing on the glue pad and it doesn't look as nice as if you had a stamp so anyway but this is the one I had I haven't been able to find a nice stamp and die set if anybody knows of any let me know because I that's what I'm looking for an ivy stamp and die set uh, but not a large one a smaller one so anyway, here's the vine right here. I hope you can see it. Let me lift it up a little bit. Here's the vine back here where I used the frontage. Here, here's part of the vine back here. And then there's one tucked in here as well. It's kind of hard to tell because it does have a lot of... Here, there's one. I hope that's a good view of it. Um, so the first thing I did was I cut one and I embossed it with the frontage. And I just kind of laid laid it in the corner I think I have one cut out that I'll show you what it looks like and uh, this is what it looks like and it does give you all the little lines and everything the veining but uh, you know when you dab it in the glue it kind of becomes like a just a blob of embossing uh, powder so I you, you know that's not really good you need the stamp but this is what it looks like and then it cuts out extra little leaves that you can layer I didn't really use the extras but I place one going this way and then the top one I did the same thing going this way I hope that I'm in frame going this way and then I layered that's what I worked uh, I layered my uh, flowers afterwards. I put my flowers where I wanted it. I did cut a green uh, vine from a 
Stampin' Die set that somebody gifted during um, the Secret Santa swap, which is this one right here. And I love, love, love the, the, it has the stamp for the vine, for the rose vine or leaves. And then it does have the die. So this is the one that I use for that. That's the one that I use for this one right here. So I stamped it and then I did color it. Then afterwards, what I did was um, I tried it with the frontage. And that's what it looks like with the frontage. But I had already used the other. So I like this look as well. Um, and then I had these berry sprays I bought last year, uh, this past Christmas at Joann's. And they had a bunch of little picks, and I really don't didn't use the whole pick because it's too thick. But I cut the little stems off of the berries, and I just tucked them in here and there. As you can see, like the little bird is eating the berries, and then there's some up here in the corner. Again, it doesn't have any sentiment. These come blank, so you could definitely layer them. And even if they were printed and you didn't like the sentiment, you could print out your own and layer it in, on top. You know, it wouldn't be a big deal. But I love, love, love the way this card came out. I think it's so pretty. And what a card, how you can enhance a card that's already pretty just by adding your handmade flowers, you know, adding, you know, the, some greenery, some, uh, some berries. And this card goes from being a nice card to being a beautiful card. So that's the one that I created. I also have another one that I want to share with you. Let me put this one away really, really quick. And as soon as I get them done, I do put them in the box because I want to make sure that uh, they don't get ruined. I want to make sure that they are preserved. And when I ship them out anywhere, that they're going to look just as nice when I ship them out. And when the recipient, the customer gets them, then when I created them. So look at how pretty the presentation is in these boxes. Who wouldn't love to get a card in a box like this? I would definitely keep it like this and put it on display somewhere. So that's one of the ones that I created. Another one that I created a while back and I didn't get a chance to share with you guys is this one right here because I was playing with the Prima Havana paper and um, and I had made the little uh, typewriter embellishments. Remember that one? Well, this is how, uh, just kind of giving an example what you would use the embellishments for. So I created a card using uh, the embellishment. Here are the rose, uh, rose vine that I have, die cut, that um, Jackie. Uh, Jacqueline Metal Arc 001 she gifted me a bunch of die cuts and this little rose vine I don't know who makes it or what uh, Jacqueline if you could give us that information um, it um, uh, it she gave it to me in white so I just colored it in the grays because the Prima Havana paper has a lot of gray in it so that I wanted to bring out the gray remember I told you guys that I like to use the four by by the four by six uh, journaling cards well the reason I like to buy them because I think they're the perfect size for a card and um, you have plenty of real estate to work on but the images are scaled down a little bit and they're the perfect size for a card I know it's not your typical standard card but you know it's your card you can cut it any size you want it and I like the way this one looks and this one um, I do have a die that is like um, a scroll so what I did was I printed it with my toner, my laser printer, and then I put my foil on top and ran it through my mink machine. So uh, anything that you print with a toner printer, you can uh, foil that. So anyway, it says, look, if, if this card, it would be for someone, a friend that you know is going through a tough time financially, you know, that is struggling. That's what this card would be. That It would be a blessing card, and of course, it would include you know, maybe a gift card or something that would help them out because scripture tells us that it doesn't do us any good to bless, tell anybody, oh, be blessed and, and don't go hungry and just kind of bless them. But there's no, no acts The faith, faith without acts is dead. So we have to act on it. We have to do something. We don't just say bless you and we have the ability to bless and then we don't do it. Because that's the reason we're blessed, not just for ourselves, but to bless others. So 
And if God can trust you with a little bit, he'll give you more. So it says, look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, for your heavenly Father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than, than they are? And that's Matthew 6, 26. And um, I really love this uh, sentiment because a lot of times, you know, you'll know people that are struggling and to, you know, give them a hand, give them a blessing, that would be awesome. But whenever you do that, of course, you keep it to yourselves because it, Scripture does tell us that whatever you do uh, in public for people to see you, for people to recognize that you're a good person, then that's all you're going to get right there. That's the only thing you're going to get. People are just going to praise you, but you're not going to get anything. I mean, that's going to be it. You don't want to please. You don't want to be a people pleaser. You want to please God. You want to do God's will. And and He tells us, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. So definitely, this would be something that you would keep to yourself. And then here's where I use my little typewriter and it says a note to say. And you know, it's encouraging somebody that, you know, even though you're going through a hard time, through a trial or a season, that this season will pass. And then because it was talking about birds, so this one had the bird right here. And all I did was sparkle up a little bit on the bird. I didn't want to make it too flashy or anything like that. Added a couple of little uh, tiny flowers from, um, what is it called? Everybody gets the flowers from there. They're from the UK, I believe. Wild Orchid Crafts, the little bitty flowers. And then on the inside, I didn't do anything. I just layered it. I embossed the bottom piece with the, a rose embossing folder that I had. And here's an, another little die cut from my friend Jacqueline that I left it in white just to kind of break it up like a, a divider between the embossed and non where you would put your your personal message here. And I was thinking of putting like a photo corner right here that you could insert like a gift card you know, whether it be to a grocery store, whether it would be just a visa or whatever. But this is definitely something you would give to someone that is really struggling. That is really struggling financially or is between jobs. You know, it happens to all of us, guys. And for us to be able to help somebody out, that that's really amazing. And But like I said, whenever you do this, don't do it where people can, can see you. Don't tell anybody about it. You just bless that person and truly pray for them, you know, and, and that's all you have to do. And the Lord, whatever you see, you do in secret, the Lord sees that. And it is pleasing to him. It's a, it's a pleasing aroma to him for you to do something in honor of him or because you love him, you know, to bring him glory. Because like I said, the blessings that he gives us, whether they be financial or whatever they are, they're not just for us. He puts you in a position to bless others. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed both of these cards that I created. And this inspires you to uh, create your own and... Um, I will put my Etsy shop. I don't have all my cards in there yet. I think I only have one in there, guys. I haven't put this one or my other one that I created. Um, this one would definitely not be one that I would um, put in my shop. This would be something more that I would keep for myself. You know, uh, and whenever I need it, I'll have it done. But this one I would definitely put in my shop. And it, it could be, like I said, a birthday, Mother's Day, uh, just because, uh, congratulations. It could be for any occasion because all it says is you are special. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone has a great day. And I will be back later with my hauls. I have been shopping, you guys. I'm horrible, but I'm going to stop now. I have been shopping and I have found some really amazing uh, goodies or I think that I, they're amazing and um, and I want to share that with you guys. Bye.